August 28th. On this day, we celebrate the memory of our venerable father, Moses the Ethiopian. The blessed Moses was an Ethiopian by race. He was a slave in the service of a magistrate who drove him away because of his thieving and appalling behavior. He then became the leader of a band of robbers who turned from no means even murder to achieve their ends. However, after having an accident, Moses' conscience was aroused. Touched by the love of Christ, he came to hate both sin and his past life and resolved to show an ardent repentance. After having been baptized, he withdrew at once to the de desert of Sketis, to a solitary place lacking any human consolation, not even a little water to revive his body that was dried out by the sun and his ascetic labors. One day four robbers threw themselves on him while he was sitting in his cell. Moses, who was endowed with prodigious strength, bound them and carrying them on his back like sacks of straw, took them to the church saying, I am not permitted to harm anyone. What dost thou want of these men? Learning that he was Moses, that the famous leader of the robber band, the four men said to each other that if such a rogue had come to God's service, salvation was not far from them either, and they became monks. Despite his repentance and his ascetic strivings, Moses continued to be assailed by his passions, that second nature that were so deeply rooted in him that he was forced for ten years to wage implacable warfare against the demon of fornication. One day, when he was near giving in to despair and abandoning the struggle, he paid a visit to the great Abba Isidor, the priest of Sketis. On his telling him of his temptations, the elder told him that he must not be surprised at having to face such violent battles, as a hardened sinner is like a dog in a butcher's so shop that is used to gnawing bones and cannot give up the habit unless people stop giving it bones or close the shop. In the same way, it is not enough for the sinner to stop committing the sin, the bad habit must be driven away by the good habit of virtue, along with the mortification of the flesh over many years. The demon, in despair at seeing himself thus deprived of the means of arousing impure desires in the heart, gave up the struggle. On returning to his cell, Moses gave himself over to great austerities. He ate only twelve ounces of dry bread, exhausting his body with work and reciting fifty groups of prayers every day. But although he had so greatly mortified his flesh in this way, he remained inflamed by his passions, especially in his dreams. He went once more for counsel to a great elder, who advised him to add sobriety of mind to his physical austerities, purifying it by vigils. Moses from that time added fasts and all-night vigils every night, standing in the middle of his cell and praying without closing his eyes. When thoughts continued to assail him, he perfected the building of the new man within himself by an ardent love for the brethren. At night he went to the cells of the old hermits who no longer had the strength to fetch water and took their jars to fill at the well a few miles away. The demon, furious at seeing himself thus overcome on all sides by the servant of God, attacked him one night while he was leaning over the well and dealt him a violent blow in the back with a club. The next day, one of the brethren who had gone to draw water found him there, lying half dead, and went to inform Abba Isidore. Taken to the church, Moses took a year to recover his strength. Saint Isidore urged him to stop provoking the demons to battle, as there is a measure in all things, but Christ's valiant soldier replied, I cannot stop while the images suggested by the demons continue to trouble me. The elder then told him that he would thenceforth be freed from his dreams, and that this temptation had been permitted by God so that he would not boast of overcoming these passions in his own strength. Moses then returned to his cell, and after two months went back to Abba Isidor to tell him that he was experiencing no more trouble. In addition to the grace of impassibility, God gave him power over the demons and changed his violent nature into an unparalleled charity and gentleness. One day, a brother having committed a fault at Sketis, the fathers gathered to judge him and invited Abba Moses to join them, but he refused to do so. As everyone was waiting for him, it being the custom for all the ascetics to be gathered together before a synaxis began, the priest had him sought out. Moses got up, took up a leaking basket, filled it with sand, and went to the assembly. 
The brethren who had gone out to meet him said, What is going on, Father? The elder answered, My sins run down behind, behind me, and I do not see them, and I have come today to judge someone else's fault. Hearing this, the fathers repented, said nothing to the brother at fault, and forgave him. A brother had gone to Scetius to visit the elders, and wanted first to see the famous Abba Arsenius, but the latter would not receive him. He then went to Abba Moses, who received him with joy and kindness. Bothered by this difference in attitude, he asked God to show him why it was that one of the elders fled the society of men for his name, while the other received them with open arms for the same reason. He was then shown two great barges on the river, and saw Abba Arsenius and the Spirit of God floating in one in great peace, and in the other Abba Moses and the angels of God, who were feeding him honey cakes. Having acquired great fervor with God and been made priest, Abba Moses, by the example of his virtues, converted seventy of his former robber band, who became his disciples. He taught them to free themselves from the passions by spiritual endeavor and to live in their cells as though in the grave, dead to all men. He used to say, Go, sit in your cells, and your cell will teach you everything. When he was asked what it meant to die to all men, he replied, To die to your neighbor means to bear your own faults and not to pay attention to anyone else wondering whether they are good or bad. If we are on the watch to see our own faults, we shall not see those of our neighbor. It is folly for a man who has a dead man in his house to leave him there and to go and weep over his neighbor's dead. When he was asked the point of all the mortifications which monks impose on themselves, the lifelong fasts and vigils, he replied, They make the soul humble, for if the soul gives itself all this hardship, God will have mercy on it. Abba Moses was seventy-five years old when news came that the Mazises barbarians were about to attack Scetis. All the monks prepared to flee except for Abba Moses. The brethren having asked him why he was remaining there so calmly, he replied, I have been waiting for this day for many years, that the word of the Lord Christ may be fulfilled, which says, All who take the sword will perish by the sword. Edified by this reply, the brethren said to him, We will not flee either, but we will die with you. The elders said to them, That is nothing to do with me. Let everyone decide for himself whether he stays or not, and do as the Lord reveals to him. The barbarians sacked the famous monastic center of Scetis, killing without mercy all whom they found there. When they reached the cell of Abba Moses and his seven disciples, one of the monks was able to hide beneath a heap of rope, and when the Holy Fathers were massacred, he saw seven crowns descend from heaven and lie on their bodies. Blessed is the O God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, who are ever filling all things, treasure your blessings and giver of life, come and abide us and cleanse us of every impurity, and save us all the good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Oh, dude.
its proof to be a citizen of the desert, an angel in the flesh, and a wonder worker, O Moses, our God-bearing Father. By fasting, vigil, and prayer, thou didst obtain heavenly gifts, and thou healest the sick and the souls of them that have recourse to thee with faith. Glory to him that has given thee strength, glory to him that has crowned thee, glory to him that worketh healings for all through thee. Let us chant unto the Lord who led his people through the Red Sea, for he alone has gloriously been glorified. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. With showers of repentance, O Father Moses, wash my heart clean by thine intercessions, for it is poisoned by the sting of sin. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Nailing down thy flesh with the fear of thy master, O all-blessed and God-bearing Moses, thou didst wipe away from thy heart every impassioned thought. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having hid the seeds of the word in the furrows of thy mind, O Father, thou brought forth which stored up in inexhaustible treasury. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In his kindness, the word God transcendent saves me entire by willing to become incarnate of thy womb, O pure Virgin Mother. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit doth sing thy praise. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Moved by the Spirit, thou didst persevere in spiritual deeds, O wise Moses, wholly subduing the spirits of evil. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Made strong by the sovereign might of God, O righteous Moses, thou didst lay low the mighty dragon as though thou hadst been fleshless. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the rain showers of thy tears, thou didst quench the fire of passions, and became the river filled with the gifts of the Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having thee as my help, O Immaculate Virgin, I fear not mine enemies' attacks. Having thee as protectress, I put their arrays to flight. May to shine within with light unwaning, thou didst scourge the hordes of unclean spirits, with the blows of amazing ascetic feats. And thou didst wholly destroy all their villainy by thine unceasing entreaties and prayers to God. O our righteous Father Moses, do thou entreat Christ God, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. On becoming flesh in thy most pure womb, God was not divided from his Godhead, but became very man while remaining God. And thee his mother he kept in virginity, as undefiled after childbearing as before. Intercede with him with fervor, who is the only Lord, to grant great mercy unto us, O blameless one. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sing the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Never ceasing from prayer and adding labors to labors, O drave the flesh-loving demon out of thy soul, O all-blessed Father. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Since thou hast conveyed thy mind unto things beyond mind and speech, O righteous Moses, thou didst endure the burning heat of asceticism as it had been a divine dew. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy heart may to 
shown by visions and labors was shown to be a pure dwelling place of the Spirit, O all blessed Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Bride of God, treasure of virginity and tabernacle of the uncontainable nature. Guide my darkened soul by thy light. Waking at dawn, we cry to thee, save us, O Lord, for thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Set a flame with the coal of dispassion, O Blessed One, thou burns to ashes the inflammable substance of the passion. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Thou hast appeared as a star prominent in the heart of temperance, O celebrated Moses, shedding light upon our soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast mounted the four-horse chariot of virtues, O admirable Father Moses, and has reached a mark in the heavenly realm. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We hymn thee as a virgin after giving birth, O Theotokos, for thou didst conceive God the Word in the flesh for the sake of the world. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities. And from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. As I am compassed with the night of sins and the darkness of pleasures, O Father, holy in enlighten me with the rays of the Spirit found in thee. Holy God, me, O Moses, to the haven of salvation. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Like an industrious bee gathering the blooms of the virtues into the hive of thy mind, O Father, thou didst overflow with the sweetness of immortality, which dispelled the demon's bitterness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After persevering in desolate places, thou hast inherited the city on high and having with fastings driven thy flesh like a slave, O marvellous Moses, thou art departed unto inexhaustible delight in the tabernacles of paradise. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We, the faithful, call the anoetic sanctuary, O Virgin, and a mercy seat that may not be touched, a golden lampstand and a living table that holds the bread of life. O our blessed and righteous Father Moses, Thou didst drive away the passion's darkness, Being richly illumined with light divine, And with thy vigilant prayers thou didst wither up The wanton pride of the flesh and its mount on high. To the citadel above, where do thou continually Entreat Christ God to grant great mercy unto us. The three Hebrew children in the furnace trampled down the flame with courage and great boldness. They turned fire to do and cried out with a great voice, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Cleansed of the filth of passions and flashing with the Spirit's bright beams, thou didst truly pass over to the immaterial light, wherein are the choirs of ascetics, O blessed Moses, unto the ages. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Thou fled from all wickedness and made thine own the enjoyment of good things, O blessed Father, and thou hast been mingled with the desired immaterial delight, crying out, O God, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With immeasurable toils in asceticism, thou didst wither up delusion, the cause of much toil, O God, bearer. Wherefore thou hast found the enjoyment of good things that is without toil, as thou dost bless thy master. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, the virgin of whom great Isaiah spake in the Spirit has conceived God in her womb and brings forth him unto whom we cry in song. O God, blessed are thou. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. 
O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Loved with prayers, exalted by humility, shining in soul with righteousness, and adorned with love, thou spreads on high to the pinnacle of virtues, to a notable height, O Father. Crying out, Bless the Master, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. He that by repentance had a soul more radiant than the sparkling beams of the sun, hurled into the gloom the darkened countenances of demons, but he makes very bright the hearts of the faithful who emulate him and ardently sing. Supremely exalt Christ, O you people, to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Fenced about with humility on all sides, so didst escape the arrows of opposing demons, and through thy deeds and thy words thou became the trainer of monks. For wrestling with their enemies, O Father, and with thy disciples thou didst cry aloud, You children, bless Christ, you priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Past nature didst thou conceive, past speech best thou the creator of man's nature, who became man and is indivisible from the Father, O pure lady, unto him does all creation sing. You children, bless Christ, you priests sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Terror filled every ear that learnt the unheard of condescension of God the Word. How of his own good will the Lord Most High came down to such lowliness as from a virgin's womb to take a body becoming man. Hence may the faithful flock magnify the undefiled Mother of our God. O Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. Truly, having finished thy life in good works, thou hast received the wellspring of good things and hast obtained the fulfillment of thy longing. And in joy thou hast made thy dwelling where there is the sound of them that keep festival with praises. O admirable and righteous Father Moses, Holy Father Moses, pray to God for us. The sweat of thy travails distills the sweetness of succor, O Father, and drives away the bitterness of our passions. Thy relics burgeon with healings for our sakes, and purge the decay of wicked deeds and the defilement of our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ has crowned thy head with unfading crown. O divine Moses, who mightily overcame the martial arrays of the ruler of this world, and he has justly numbered thee with the choirs of the just, with whom do thou entreat him to deliver from temptations those who honor thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone among women has ended the curse of the first created, O bride of God, in giving birth to the uncircumscribable circumscribed in the flesh. Thou hast made the laws of nature new, O virgin, and defiled, and by the Thy marvelous mediation, thou hast united things that before were sundered. Thou with thy sword of godly prayer didst bravely cut asunder the heads of fleshless enemies, O blessed Father Moses. Wherefore thou also receivest from Christ, O great God-bearer, divine rewards of victory, and now standing with the angels before his throne, shining with the radiance of dispassion, illumined by thy prayers all them that flee to thee and praise thee. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the word, 
the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy love, giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicerus the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molog, Flan, and all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of our righteous father, Moses the Ethiopian, with the prayers of the holy martyr, Acacius the Younger of Miletus, with the prayers of the righteous Hezekiah, the king of Judah, with the prayers of St. Anna the prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, with the prayers of the holy thirty-three martyrs of Heraclea, who were perfected in martyrdom by fire, with the prayers of the holy martyr Julian of Briud, with the prayers of our holy mother Susanna, the queen of Georgia, whose sacred relics have been recovered on this day, with the prayers of St. Amphilochius, the bishop of Vladimir, with the prayers of our righteous father, Sabas of Kripsky, with the prayers of our father, Job of Pochayev, whose holy relics have been recovered on this day, with the prayers of all our righteous fathers of the Kiev caves, whose relics repose in the far cave, with the prayers of the holy new Haramat, Sergius, Archimandrite of the Holy Trinity Monastery in Kazan, and twelve brethren with him who were slain by the atheists in 1918. With the prayers of the holy new Haramat, Theodore, the priest in Kazan, who was slain by the atheists in 1918. With the prayers of St. Ammon and St. Flannan and those with them whose memory we also keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.